ultrasound focuses is really changing the way we all practice medicine in every specialty. Uh, it's one of the biggest revolutions in medicine. I know it's overused as a metaphor, but uh, it's the biggest revolution since the stethoscope. And really, focus, I believe, will become the new symbol of medicine in like 15, 20 years. It's something that every uh, physician will be using in every field of medicine. Point of ultrasound in medical education is happening. It's a worldwide phenomenon. And I think that jumping on the train for that and starting to teach it at our own universities will change uh, a lot the way medicine is practiced locally uh, in Canada. Uh, everyone in the world is faced with the same chats, the same challenges. Sorry. Uh, first, there definitely is a need to up the level of the teachers themselves. I graduated personally in 2004, and in my training, I didn't have anything about ultrasound in any way or form. So most of the faculty has to learn ultrasound itself to be able to teach it and integrate ultrasound in medical education. So that's one of the first challenges. Then there's a universal challenge of trying to fit that in a very busy medical program. Uh, at the World Conference, you'll realize that that's what everyone everywhere is facing. And you will meet experts who will tell you how they approach these problems and how they uh, face them. And you'll be able to learn from both their successes and failures. Whether you're a student or a practicing, a practicing physician, there are three core competencies that all the seismographers must master. You have to be able to acquire images, so that's a very hands-on technique. If that's what you're looking for, you need to go to workshops and be able to, to practice, whether that's in the medical schools or in continuous medical education. Then the next task is to interpret the findings we see on the screen, to realize what we're actually looking at. Is it normal? Is it not normal? And the most important part of it is really the clinical integration part. As physicians, we're faced with patients who have problems, and it's kind of a detective's job. We have to find out what's going on, and we have to be able to use that tool to be able to answer our clinical questions. So all three must be assessed, both in the schools and both for practicing physicians. I think that Teaching point of care ultrasound in medical education, in undergraduate medical education, will be able to address all those things, consistency, competence, and so on. Uh, we're not there yet completely. It's starting. That's what the conference is about. Uh, so I think that's the first big step. Then there really is a risk everywhere and every place that starts teaching ultrasound to be a bit auto-referential, meaning that you train your people and they're the only ones that critique you. So sharing experiences is very important. A lot of people in the world are facing the same challenges. And one of our motivations for organizing the World Conference in Canada and Montreal was actually exactly that, to be able to bring experience, expertise in Canada for local people to assist and to be able to up the level of teaching we're doing right here, which is already really good, but we can go a step beyond, it would be even better. Point of care ultrasound is still in a transition phase. Every specialty also has to think on how to use it best to integrate it really in the clinical practice. So at the uh, residency level, we also have to, to think about that. And time will tell. The better, the better applications will stay over time. Like people just ask us, is this conference meant for me? Uh, we try to make it as broad as possible. For students or novices to the, the field of ultrasound, it's a unique opportunity to meet other students from different medical schools in the world to learn some basis if your university is not yet teaching ultrasound or, or if they are, to go beyond what you already know. For academics who have low or no ultrasound skill, well, they too can learn the basis uh, of ultrasound and that will allow them to jump on the train and integrate some ultrasound teaching in their usual, usual teachings. Those who do know ultrasound will be able to focus on more specific questions they might have in doing or teaching ultrasound. So really from the novice who never touched the probe to the fellow training in point of care ultrasound, the World Conference of Medical Ultrasound and Medical Education has something for everyone.